Hi and welcome to another coloring book collection video with finished pages. Um, it's a mix from different styles of books, so we'll start diving right in. The first one to show is Fairy World by Barbara Lanza. I only got this book quite recently, uh, about a week or two, I think. I have it in my collection and um, it has uh, a lot of different types of pictures in it. Some fairly simple without a background, some with more details. So it's a nice mix mixture. And the paper is a quite good quality. I only did one picture in it since I've only got it for a week or two. Um, I've used Neocolor 2 acrylic paint and um, I believe I did if I check. Yeah, I have I've written it down on the other side because uh, my paint or my Neo colors on the other uh, on the front were too dark. So I've used uh, alcohol-based markers for her skin and uh, the flower and went over it with uh, Prismacolor pencils and some white Posca to border the yellow flower. And she also has some glitter on her. And oh yeah, I did use uh, metallic silver paint it's an acrylic one from a, a discount shop. Next, I can show you three uh, German coloring books. I believe they're also translated in English, um, but their price is a bit higher uh, when you buy them in um, an English copy. Um, now I've only paid 4 euros for it and it's an amazing quality of paper. Haven't colored in this one yet, but listen, it's quite thick. The pictures are double-sided and it's all focused on ballet or yeah, ballerinas. And I really want fancy this one I want this uh, I want to do this quite soon but on the other hand it scares me a bit I'm I'm not sure why but yeah but I'll give it a try so it's also a nice mixture of white uh, backgrounds and some black although more white in this one I think so that's that then we have Princess's uh, copy, same quality, double-sided white pages. I'm sorry if I can't get the book, I will try to set my, but I can't zoom out and my tripod is a very short one, so it's uh, trying the best I can. So there are really nice pictures in this one and I did this as the first one with some shimmer on the little dragons he's such a cutie <laughs> I've uh, used Albrecht Durer on this polychromos on top uh, Derwent uh, graffiti tint for the walls and some soft pastel for the sky I really enjoyed it and although it has had watercolors the picture on the other side is in perfect condition did I do another one no so here I did a little test and that was all some of the pictures remind me of the um, Romantic country style. I believe the artist is called Anne Kronheimer. But is it mentioned somewhere? Yes, it's mentioned here. So if you search for her name, she also has an, a few other coloring books. But that's um, 
only focused on um, a specific fairy tale I think this was a mix from different kinds of um, princesses and then a fairy one um, notice the cover it has um, a, an, um, a relief or how do you say it? it it lies a bit above its glitter and it's it's you it's I don't know how to explain it it lies on top of the shimmery cover I can't explain it any better I hope you understand but you can feel it it's a uh, I, I was really amazed such quality for this price it was wow this concentrates on fairies I did this one last uh, March, so it seems. I think it was very cold here because I always try to combine the weather in real life with the weather in my pictures. I really liked what I did with the fairies, but then that background, oh boy. But yeah. So a few other pictures of the, her coloring style. And I did another one. No, this is a work in progress. I've just um, painted the sky with acrylic paints, um, made some clouds with neo color, and then splattered with acrylic paints. Some silver and some white. But my white one isn't from a very good quality, so I will have to get a new one. And then I think I will color those in um, a combo from uh, Albrecht Dürer, I think, and Polychromos. I really have um, periods when I only want to color with my Prismas or when I think that they are the best. And now I have that with uh, Polychromos. I really want to do a Polychromos picture. And since the Albrecht Dürers are their brothers and the colors are uh, matching, it would be fine to uh, work with these two like in the princess's book oh yeah and this is was the last one i did this with intense most uh, of the uh, things this one was intense the blanket the leaves and i think only her face and hair maybe is a um, polychromos did this one february from this year she has spectrum noir oh yeah on her wings but it's not quite visible i think so that was that one then a heather valentine one um really like these books but i like her more recent ones better because they're more um, filled with backgrounds or some scenery um, this one is a quite simple one, nevertheless, perfect for when you want to color something quick and cute. Um, did a few already in uh, this one. So it's um, not common that I uh, color the title page, but for this one I uh, went for it in March from uh, last year. Then the next. I use Sudi style pencils. They're nice, but I don't grab to them often the last few months, I must admit. This is... Uh, ooh, mm -hmm. I won't go into detail with this one. I like her dress, but all the rest I did... Ooh. Started this one months and months ago, also last year, I think, but I didn't like how I did the hat and the, the hair and no, I gave up. So, and then, see, these are all quite simple without many background details. So I um, tried to get some scenery with pastels and paint. And I like how she turned out. This one was a, a disaster. 
I've uh, chosen completely wrong uh, colors for her dragon, but uh, yeah, he has shimmer, so that's nice. And this in September, polychromos and pastels for the background. This is done at the beginning of June this year, uh, a frock with a golden ball, and I've um, drawn <laughs> uh, the grass and uh, the birds in the background. This is a stencil, but it's smeared out a bit. I've used acrylic paint for the clouds and marker as a base for her and the frog, and uh, she did it with Prismacolor pencils. So it's not wow because I have stains from my watercolor paints, but it's okay. And I got my crinkly page, so that's a bonus. And that was all in this little book. The second one I have from Heather is this one. I really like it because um, I love doing pictures with moons, uh, especially now that I've obsessed, I've become obsessed with my um, uh, galaxy or night time skies. Um, and these pictures have nice backgrounds and details and very spheric, more, more, yeah, an atmosphere. It's, it's a really nice one. And it's the only one that, together with um, this one I own from her. But I will definitely uh, look at other books from her. Um, being the ones with more detail on the, on the backgrounds or it uh, atmospheric pages. I only did one in this. Um, since many of you requested to show how I do my uh, backgrounds with the neo colors, I thought I would could try it in uh, this book. But since uh, when I uh, started it, look, it has gone through. I have used such an amount of water that it just was really crumbling my page at that time. It was so thin I could barely touch it. It became wobbly and all my water um, um, got together in, in the, the lower parts of the paper, if you know what I mean. So I'm uh, glad that it's now that it's completely <laughs> dried. It isn't um, noticeable anymore that the paper was uh, constantly waving, but um, it, it wasn't the most um, appropriate paper to show um, how to color such a sky, especially if it's the first time and you you want to feel confident about uh, a picture and about the technique with a lot of water. I recommend doing it on a book with more sturdy paper, um, but it's doable, but a bit of practice and uh, a lot of uh, courage is needed. Um, so I I'm glad I have uh, this page further in the book um, too. Oh, these are bonus pictures. Here she is again. So I thought it would be not too bad if, it, if the first one was um, a disaster, but it ended up quite well. Really like this one. Very beautiful book. And I'm happy with uh, how she turned out. Used um, markers for the um, rocks and for her and went over it with Prisma colors. Then some cute books. A very nice coloring book. Um, I got the. I, own, I have three uh, of the series, 
and I got this one uh, last year for my birthday from uh, a friend and I was so in love with uh, this one that I just had to have uh, the one with the bunny and the one with the bear. I think there's another one uh, on the market, but I don't have that one yet between brackets. Um, well, now that since this is on top, I will uh, start with this one. This was the first one I did after I got that book. It doesn't have any shimmer, I think. No, I tried to put some on, but I didn't have stickles back then. It's thin paper, but if you're careful enough, it's no problem to um, work with water. Where's my other one? I'm grabbing a guess. Yep. A few weeks back, it was so hot here in Belgium, we all melted and I thought this was a very suitable picture. Uh, I think we all needed a nice can of water above uh, our heads and so I couldn't resist doing these two. Um, it isn't noticeable but he has Spectrum Nar glitter that's comparable to Wink of Stella. Uh, he has that all over his body but in daylight it doesn't show up. It's only visible um, uh, with fake light or with the, with the spot or how you say it so that's this one only did two in this then the bunny one I did two I like how I've colored these little ducklings and the bunny but then that background what was I thinking <sighs> But, uh, yeah, well, you can laugh with it afterwards. And that would be me, chocolates and with my butt in the air, sniffling at it. Yeah. And then the very nice one. I only did one in this. And he's, uh, he has some glitter in his cup and out of the tea pot. And again, that background. Mm -hmm. But oh well. This book I just got in the mail two or three days ago. The nice little town number five. I uh, don't have any other books in this collection. But uh, I wanted to own this one because of all the cute little mice that are in it. It's really super adorable. There are one or two without a mouse. mouse. But other than that, oh, always a cutie one. On the pages. So really looking forward to coloring this one. Then this that's uh, one I received last week, I think, or bought last week. Uh, did a flip through already on my channel. Super nice pictures. Um, the artist is Julia Rivers. Um, same reason uh, I bought this one as a, for the uh, nice little town. Cute animals. I really love coloring people, but animals are great too. I'm not an expert on fur but I'm trying to learn to be become better at it and so you can never have enough cute animal coloring books. So and this was um, the serene little village something behind the closed garden walls. You have to look at um, the flip through on my channel there's uh, the English title mentioned. Another Julia Rivers one I uh, bought last week, uh, so I haven't colored in this one yet. Um, Alice in Wonderland. Also, I was triggered by a few of the pictures. They all 
ways or most of the time have many details um, and I don't always like that but sometimes I really want to get lost in many details so it's it's perfect for uh, or when you fancy mushrooms it's a really nice book and they're also very affordable Julia Riverbrand books this is a nice one yeah and yeah they have black pages I think it creates space paper but it works just fine another one by her is uh, or by the company because I think it's a brand like the Jade Summer uh, publishing company the fantastic world of the brothers Grimm um, a nice design um, forest diver also an, an, a well-known name when uh, you search for Julia River books um, really like the setup of this one although I always seem to mess up the pictures I start in this one so I have only done one that was completed I tried to do Snow White I used a marker base I was really glad with how she turned out her hair was gray with a gray uh, marker and then I uh, want to go over it with black and I've grabbed my Prismacolor pencil and it's not noticeable on camera but it's smeared all over the place I was so angry uh, Sammy over from a uh, color and chat with Sammy <laughs> will uh, agree that I was seriously uh, angry <laughs> when that happened and if I'm really upset and don't want to color any further on a picture I just um, yeah I finish it with in, in another way and then I put down the reason why most of the time so black prisma not done especially not on I love my black prisma but not on big um, areas and when your hand is uh, constantly moving I yeah although I, I started this section it, it it just didn't work out and I have some special glove I don't have it here in the neighborhood now but with um, the cover-up from these two fingers but um, it, it, no, it didn't work out unfortunately and then I will grab the second one yes this is a finished one um, Neo 2 that was uh, quite obvious polychromos some glitter here and there on the spider webs and some gold paint I like how she turned out a bit pale maybe but yeah, she's already a few hundred years asleep so and then I was uh, I started this one I've colored this these two uh, clothes yesterday evening with markers and this is all polychromos but uh, I really liked how she turned out but then I did a sister with the three eyes and I, I she's no I, I no I don't like it at all it, it so I, I've colored a, f a bit of the dresses but I don't know if I will finish it uh, I have no idea I, I wanted to feel the picture again but I can't for myself coloring something that I don't fancy 100% or I lose my uh, coloring mojo and you know, then I feel terrible because I love to color and I don't want it to be um, something I have to do it's something I would like to do and when I'm feeling that I am doing it because I have to I block so I've put these two um, these uh, away again yesterday and I will see if I will ever finish it or not if not a pity but there are more nice pictures to color in this one 
This is also a cute. So then Coty, a uh, Smoky, excuse me, Coty is uh, second. Um, a book I would take to my desert island. Um, it's a Polish one. And it's full of uh, pictures where a dragon is the leading, uh, the leading character. Where he is it there? Sometimes you have to look for him where he is. So uh, yeah, I really like this one. I really like the style of the artist um, that makes these books. She's called Barbara, and I'm not going to try to pronounce her back name, her last name, sorry, um, because it would be a disaster, I think. But very nice book. The second one I own by her is Cody, focused on cats. I did the last one, no, not the last one here. The fluffy cat with in a Japanese garden, so it seems. My grandma, witchy grandma with her cats at the fireplace. Really lovely book with different kinds of uh, scenes, they have perfect for Christmas. And then a doggy coloring book. I uh, don't know how to pronounce this. She's Neyaki, I think, but. <laughs> uh. And this is focused on dogs. Really cute. It. This one we had this kind of dog when I was a little girl. Uh, he was called Nelson. So when I got this book, I had to color him. I had to color him in. Another one. And then this one, I colored because of Jen from over at uh, Reading with Pugs. She has three Pugs, so when I saw this one, I just just had to color it for her. And that's that. And then the last three books are from the Horrorland series or two from the Horrorland series and one from the Horror Hotel series by A.M. Shaw. Um, I'm addicted to uh, an adult, uh, no not an adult, yeah it's an adult uh, video game but it's a survival horror one on PlayStation uh, called um, Silent Hill. Uh, full of atmosphere, you have to solve riddles to uh, Continue in the game. I, I really, really, really love it. And when I saw the flip throughs of these books uh, over at Coloring in the Dark, it's a great channel. She has a lot of books, great flip throughs. Um, I, I knew I had to have some of these books because they remind me. Uh, uh, they remind me of Silent Hill and the atmosphere there. Uh, there is. It's a, it's a very different kind of uh, drawing style, but yeah, and they're also very suitable for uh, Halloween time. In Silent Hill, you all um, you also have small children, uh, some spooky ones. So this, yeah, and there are also um, some mental hospitals abandoned. Um, Hotels, schools, you name it. It's a, yeah, it's a terrific, 
game uh, game series. So there's a spooky girl again. And in Silent Hill you have uh, a lot of bloody or uh, yeah walls with uh, dried blood or with blood. <laughs> um, so yeah, I immediately knew that uh, I wanted to do this one. It's special, but if you like you like uh, horror or some gross uh, pictures or disturbing ones. And these two remind me of a monster in uh, Silent Hill 4, the room. Um, they don't uh, resemble uh, the monster, but it's also double-headed. And, and yeah, since these were uh, twins, yeah, really like this one. And I, from where I'm sitting, I see the mailman. And there are two more coloring books coming today, so yay! Later on, I can run to my uh, mailbox. Uh, the next one in Horrorland, Girls of Terror. Um, it's only this one. Also, the atmosphere. Graves. I can see the stickles all over her uh, body. Great one also for Halloween with the spiders and yeah. This is a bit more weird than uh, the Asylum one. Although some are quite okay. But <laughs> if you look at her. And I wanted this because of her. In Silent Hill you also have a lot of uh, crazy nurses and uh, f their uh, costumes are full with blood and gross and, and she reminded me of uh, the nurses in Silent Hill so that was a must-have. And then the last one, Horror Hotel, because in Silent Hill you also have abandoned and creepy hotels. Um, so it was obvious I had to have this one too. There's a second one I believe or maybe a third one already. Um, yeah. I've done this one at the beginning of this year. I think that's the only one I did. Again, creepy kids. And a creepy clown. Yeah. So that was it for uh, this part of my coloring book collection. There's a lot more to come, so stay tuned. Bye.